Welcome viewers to Historical Journeys. Someplace out on the tremendous field of late predominant, a group of scientists are checking the cold profundities. Utilizing the most recent innovation, they reveal privileged insights and subtle secrets that length hundreds of years. In any case, when they coincidentally find a peculiar component many feet underneath the surface, they find beyond anything they had could have expected. Cameras brushing the lower part of Lake Prevalent made a revelation that left specialists in wonderment. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. It only takes a second, and you won't miss any of our future videos. Let's get started. For quite a long time, the individuals from a verifiable society situated in Salt Sweet, Marine, Michigan have been brushing Lake Unrivaled, expecting to uncover relics from the locale's violent past. As reality behind the disclosure unfurled, a captivating memorable secret was tackled. At the point when a group from the Incomparable Lakes Rec Verifiable Society, or GLSHS, set out on a campaign out onto Lake Unrivaled, established back in 1978. Truth be told, since the mid-1900 years, cruising ships have routinely ventured to every part of the waters of the Incomparable Lakes, conveying freight and travelers between different objections in Canada and the US. In any case, conditions in this area of the planet can be misleading, and only one out of every odd vessel came to its last objective flawless. Today, it's accepted that upwards of 6,000 boats have been lost in the incomparable lakes, since records started with very nearly 600 in lake prevalent alone. With its work, the GLS Aegis has been endeavoring to determine a portion of these secrets and focus a light on the historical backdrop of the incomparable lakes. Furthermore, to do as such, Individuals set out on normal overviews and ranges of the lakes furnished with hardware that permits them to wharf directly into the extremely most profound waters, then overview its profundities, and that a spot exactly 35 miles from the Michigan shore their gear enlisted an obscure item around 650 feet down. Was it the disaster area of one of Lake Unrivaled's amazing last ships, or was there something different sitting tight for them far below the surface? At first, the specialists couldn't decide the idea of the irregularity, Thus they hailed it fully intent on returning for a more critical look. In no time, the group was back in a similar piece of lake better prepared than tackle the secret unequivocally. As the camera passed by the strange item, its actual character before long turned out to be obvious from the unmistakable state of the bow and anchor to the wheel half covered in sand. Minutes after the fact, the camera zeroed in on the boat uncovering the character of the secret vessel without question. Addressing the New York Times in Walk 2020 to the incomparable Lakes Rec Historical Centers, Bruce Lynn made sense of, you never fully know until you see a conclusive evidence. For this situation, it was a name board that read Atlanta. What's more, the name leading body of the Atlanta truly sticks out, Lynn said in an authority proclamation dated Walk 2022. However, what was the tale of this vessel? As a matter of fact, the cool temperatures and late prevalent make the best circumstances for safeguarding items like wrecks, and wild states of zebra mussels can frequently cloud submerged locales somewhere else in the incomparable lakes. This obtrusive species doesn't flourish here. Thus, the Memorial Park of the Atlanta remains astoundingly immaculate. However, should analysts even touch the URI survives from the disaster area? Addressing the New York Times, Lynn said it would be ill-bred to disrupt the disaster area in any capacity. He said these resemble grave locales he ought to be aware. What's more, large numbers of them as the analysts found have stories that are similarly just that dismal of the Atlanta. On 10, November 1975, the boat was gotten out by terrible climate on Lake Unrivaled similarly, as the specialists later scholarly the Atlanta had been 80 years prior. All things being equal, the Edmund Fitzgerald sank into 530 feet of water taking 29 lives with it. What's more, since it has been one of the most notorious wrecks of the incomparable lakes, in any event, rousing of society anthem the year after it sank. Scientists from the GLS AHS tracked down some of extra wrecks from the 19100 years, including the straight to the point W. Wheeler, a clipper that sank in 1885. In an explanation dated October 2021, Lynn said this has been an amazing season later. He added we have never found such countless new wrecks in a single season. The tranquility of the disaster area site conceals the repulsions which struck the boat and the occasions that set it to a watery grave with the cameras find proof of the misfortune that once happened to the Atlanta or basically a spooky phantom boat with nothing to reveal any insight into the destiny of this group. Notwithstanding the flawless state of the disaster area, the Atlanta sank underneath the surface over quite a while back. As per reports, the clipper barge left Bison, New York in 1891 in transit to Duluth in Minnesota. 
However, the 172-foot vessel stacked down with a hole brimming with coal was not going without anyone else's help. All things being equal, the Atlanta had deals down with the liner Wilhelm towing it consistently across the incomparable lakes. Unintentionally, the area of the incomparable lakes wreck exhibition hall, the weather conditions turned foul, and for quite a long time, the Wilhelm battled to tow the Atlantic through progressively misleading circumstances. The U.S. Life Saving Administration's yearly report, which was delivered in June 1891, expressed that the team of the Atlantic at first attempted to raise their own sail, yet the blast broke, leaving the vessel floating vulnerably in difficult situations and irate breezes, and for the following 20 minutes, it was driven across the lake trapped in the entirety of the hurricane. As water spilled in the vessel turned out to be increasingly hard for them to control. At last, at 11 a.m. the next morning, the choice was taken to leave the Atlanta. By that point, the hold was stressing under 10 feet of water sinking was unavoidable, so the group of seven moved into the raft and struck outwards land. Only 10 minutes after the fact, reports guarantee the Atlanta sank underneath the outer layer of Lake Unrivaled. In the meantime, the raft floated in the breeze until those locally available detected the Fresh Point life-saving station somewhere far off. Yet again, while battling to shore at Fresh Point, the boat upset sending its travelers tumbling into the freezing water, and albeit the group of the Atlanta figure out how to compose their vessel, it flipped, leaving only two survivors sticking to the battered boat. At last, a post on shore noticed the vessel in trouble, having at first confused it with a tree root or log drifting in the lake. However, despite the fact that a salvage mission was immediately mounted, it was beyond any good time to save the team individuals who had been washed away. As per the U.S. life-saving help report, the two men were in such awful condition that it required a few hours of the most unremitting exertion before they were out of risk. A couple of days after the fact, standby kept in touch with his heroes to communicate gratitude for their courageous mediation, up until the revelation of the Atlantic on the lower part of Lake Predominant. This suggestive letter was the main enduring artifact associated with the last boat. It peruses, I wish to communicate my gratitude to the existence saving hell. Then at that point, the letter wait proceeds to make sense of that circumstances in the lake were so terrible he could never have endured significantly longer. The Atlanta then confronted a lamentable end diving to the lower part of Lake Predominant, while its group died inside sight of land. Also presently, on account of industrious work by GLS AHS, its story can at last be told. Albeit the matching up was recorded at that point, the revelation of the disaster area has moved it into the spotlight again, and with unforeseen outcomes. In it, we can see the ROV moving toward the disaster area of the Atlanta interestingly. Indeed, even the covers for the boats incubates the video uncover stay set up after over a century submerged. After the fiasco standby and Pickle expressed that every one of the boat sails had been obliterated by the tempest. Nobody needs to ask where the Atlantic is any more GLS HS punctuation Dara alertable made sense of in the explanation. However, since the secret has at last been addressed, what will befall the disaster area? As indicated by Corey Atkins, who additionally works for the authentic culture, the boat and its items will probably remain where they are and for justifiable reasons. Back in 1980, the Territory of Michigan got regulations to safeguard the wrecks that rest at the lower part of the incomparable lakes. Furthermore, under this regulation, it would really be unlawful for the GLS AHS or some other association to attempt to raise the Atlantic back to the surface. Other than doing so would be very perilous as Adkins made sense of. That disaster area is so profound contrasted with others we found we might want to leave this one undisturbed. What's more, given the way that the Atlantic is situated out of the range of jumpers, he is probably going to get his desire. As a safety measure, however, the GLS HS has not delivered the specific area of the vessel. This doesn't mean wreck lovers won't ever get to see a legitimate wreck face to face. For instance, the GLS HS crushed its past record by finding something like nine distinct locales in a single season. As indicated by Atkins, there are plans to arrange a presentation devoted to the disaster area of the Atlantic at the exhibition hall. Thanks for watching. If you want to stay updated with our latest videos, subscribing is the way to go. Just click that red button below and become a part of our channel family.